please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. When you only have one set of pinch bolts on one side, and then that the axle actually screws into the other, other leg itself, there's a way to put all this together and to get it right the first time rather than struggle with it later. The first thing to make sure is that the axle is fully seated against the threads before you start because you could spin for ages trying to get it inserted. The next part is to just put a little pressure on it to get it to go and it's going so now we can go ahead and tighten. So at this point we'll lock that down and then it will be a good idea at this juncture to go ahead and get your torque wrench out and tighten it because it screws into that leg. So you can set your axle torque now. Next piece, go ahead, seat the brake calipers and roll the bolts up to the point where they are tight or they're snug and pull them back a quarter turn. Now the caliper's still loose and we want it loose because when we get to tighten these up, we want them straight in line with the rotor. Now, same on the other side. At this point, we want to go ahead and make sure the brake pads are seated properly. Okay, that's all correct. Remove the front stand, put the bike on the floor, just because my hands are filthy. Push up and down on the forks because this is the free leg. It can wander left and right. So we're going to exercise the fork this way so it finds its natural resting position on the axle and the spacer. Okay, now that that's done and that's square, we'll go ahead and tighten that up. Remember to put the correct torque values in there about 12 to 16. So our leg is captive now, the other leg is still, everything's lined up. Now that we've got that done, front stand goes back in. Spin the wheel, hold the brake on. Now go ahead and tighten the caliper. With the brakes held on, you do not release them. So get them nice and snug, because then you'll retorque after the fact. And when you change sides, just keep hold of the brake lever. Again, you're not trying to put 80 foot pounds on the brake lever, you're just holding everything still. So just keep the pressure on, step around, come to the other side, tighten everything up so that we guarantee the brake caliper and pads are all aligned to the rotor correctly. Okay, nice and smooth, job done. On the R6, the axle goes through on the right leg and pushes all the way through to the left. And that's fully seated in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the bolt in on the other side. So next step, we've got to make sure that that is tight against the axle, there it is. And then it'll turn the axle in place. So we just want to make sure that's nice and tight, there it is. Okay, so that's done at this point. Now we're going to head and tighten our pinch bolts. This is the captive side because this bolt pushes that leg onto that interior spacer and locks this side in place. So once that's locked, 
go ahead and set up pinch bolts. Okay, that's tight. That now grips the axle. And so now we can tighten the 22. There it is. And at this point now, we'll go ahead and put the brake calipers on both sides. So because the axle goes through this side this way, there's no bolt here holding this foot captive against the spacer. So this is the free leg because there's nothing holding it. So when we bounce this up and down, this leg on that axle has the ability to move and straighten itself out. If you don't bounce the front end, you can have the leg bent. And in that bend and that pivot, the fork binds. And you get all kinds of braking chatter and other issues that you're trying to resolve. So it's really important that you bounce the front end several times to allow the fork leg to find the straight spot on the axle. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and tighten it. And the other part then becomes sometimes on the axle here, you'll see a difference in the starting position and the ending position where the leg has moved itself straight. So sometimes this will actually come out and there'll be a bit of a recess versus it originally going in and being flat with the outer edge. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email dave at davemostuning.com.